Today, we're doing a video on how to replace a drain on a flat roof. And what we have here is a PVC drain that's gotta get replaced because it's damaged on the inside. The pipe fell out and there's no saving it. So, it's time to put a nice, beefy cast iron drain in. Now, what we're on today is a modified bitumen roof. So as you can see, we're gonna have to torch it back in again once we're done. But as you can see, when we look around, some odd repairs have been done. Like why is there a TPO or part of the roof when the rest of the roof is modified bitumen? Those two don't go together. So we're gonna fix one problem today and that's gonna be the drain. Let's get to it. There are four parts to a drain. The first thing is how do you hold the drain inside the building without it falling through? And that's where this top side receiver comes in. So this fits into the building. We cut a big hole. This fits in so you don't have to be perfect with a the hole. Then the drain fits into there and the clamping ring secures the roofing material onto the drain and then the strainer gets secured onto the onto the clamping ring now the reason that's done is because if you didn't clamp the material to the drain it could pull away over time so it's a really good idea to always clamp down all the material around the drain but most people can't do that because they're using those pvc drains that don't let you do that so that's how they get leaks but it's also important to have a nice big cast iron strainer that's definitely gonna be able to filter out all the roof debris and one other thing is whenever you secure a cast iron drain obviously you can't glue pvc to cast iron it doesn't work so you have to use a coupling so we use this metal band fernco and that's burial rated and this is the upgraded version Oh, that's the problem <laughs> all right so what we have here is a pvc drain a little tiny strainer and um someone didn't know how to use glue correctly okay that's some old pvc all right guys first thing we're going to do now is mark out to put the sump receiver in so i'm going to cut the entire perimeter because we have insulation on top of the roof so that's gonna all get cut away and then we're gonna go straight to the wood deck which is the plywood underneath. All right, now that we've cut a hole and now that the plate actually fits, so we verify that it actually fits. Now that it fits, we take our sump receiver over to our drain and we bolt them together. So we're gonna install them to each other. And how that works is on the back side, there's four bolts that bolt in on the back flange. And we flip it over and we can screw it from the top side and then mount it from the bottom. Well, mount the pipe from the bottom. Now that we've got the drain secured, as you can see, I have it secured onto the rafters. We're gonna waterproof it. So I'm gonna put the base sheet down and then I'm gonna work my lead sheet in on top of that. And the reason we do that is because that's a very small like flashing surface for us to actually put the roof down to. That's all that's going to keep it waterproof. So the lead goes into the drain and then out. So it gives us a bigger flange to put our adhesive to, to bond our modified bitumen to. And that's the reason we use the lead down the base sheet onto the sump receiver. And we've made our own little bit of flashing. As you can see, there's the adhesive down there. It's really nasty, so we'll cover it up. I'm going to cut the hole out in the center screw down the perimeter and then we'll get to uh, putting in the lead sheet once the lead sheet is in we can get to the waterproofing portion of it that's like the the main waterproofing portion of it this is just the setup for it All right, now we got the lead in. I just gotta secure it down. But as you can see, I tapped it into the drain so it returns back into the drain. Obviously, there's a little goo mushing out of there. Um, but I'm gonna screw down the base sheet a little bit to secure the roof around it so it doesn't pull away from the drain. All right, so I'm just sparing the last of the adhesive. We're covering the lead because the modified bitumen when it's torched will not stick to metal. So we're covering it as per the uh, manufacturer recommendations. We're coating the lead with a layer of asphalt and we're uh, gonna glue the modified onto it and then torch the modified onto the existing roof membrane.
everything's been torched in we haven't cleaned up yet but everything's torched in ready to go we're waterproof the only thing i now need to do is put the strainer on so clamping ring is in and as you can see these bolts hold it down and really secure it tight so nothing can pull away or come loose so then the strainer goes on like that and that's it she's strong so it's drizzling it's been drizzling for the last half hour it's time for us to go inside the building connect the pipe so we don't have a flood because that would be pretty bad right Vinny? as you can see this is the uh the tarp the customer put up and it's actually a pretty good idea because it actually has a hole in it that lets it go to a hose and the hose goes out a window at the bottom floor but as you can see this is the bottom half of the drain that looks nasty um, as you can see we need to connect it so what we're going to do is to take this PVC 3 inch adapt it to 4 inch and then connect the two and we should be good and we should be out of here alright so we're finally done here's what it looks like pipes have been connected as you can see everything's been coupled we're ready to go we're ready for the rain let the rain begin and that's how you do a drain. Mm -hmm. 